Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Hey, we're talking about food today, but it's not the kind of food I really enjoy eating. Although I have tried、uh, food that has insects in it. Have you, Tom? Not knowingly, you know.、Oh, did someone try to hide it from you, or you just didn't know what was inside something?、Uh, it may have been in there. I'm not really sure.、Uh, they do say that、uh, we do ingest insects to a certain degree because granaries where grain is stored will have insects in them at some point. So you、like、will have, fall in, yeah. yeah, you will have insects in your food at some point or another. You probably just won't know about it. But as far as like going to the night market and、mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, I like a bowl of fried cockroaches, please." <laughs> No, I've never done that before. Don't eat cockroaches, guys. Cockroaches spend most of their life in the sewer,、uh, which is the drainage area where all the dirty water goes from the toilet and the the kitchen.、Mm. I'm never eating roaches. You can't pay me enough.、Um, I watch a lot of、uh, food competition shows. And every once in a while, they'll have a competition, and they have to include some sort of insect in it. But I just, I just can't do it. It's too gross. Yeah, imagine、uh, you are stuck in the desert or something、oh, for like three、different. or four days, and you're starving. And <laughs>、yeah. somebody says, "Here,、uh, you must be starving. Here's a bowl of fresh cockroaches. You、oh. might be tempted to actually swallow them down <laughs> if you're hungry enough. But most of us don't really have that option, or we're not really in that situation、Thank、of、goodness. starving to death. So." Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about eating insects by choice, but some people actually do that in、mm -hmm. various places around the world. We're saying insect foods—they're the bee's knees. <laughs> Interesting phrase. We'll explain that to you in just a second. But、mm -hmm. first of all, we're going to read the entire contents of our lesson, and then we'll be right back. Ice cream is the perfect dessert to cool you down on a hot summer's day. Do you think you could still enjoy it though if you knew it was made from insects? Gourmet Grub, a South African business, is putting this idea to the test. The environmentally conscious food company uses Ento milk instead of dairy to produce its ice cream. Ento milk is made by blending the larvae of tropical flies. To add flavor, natural ingredients like cocoa, raw honey, and organic peanut butter are added to the mix. Many people say Gourmet Grub's ice cream tastes like dairy-based ice cream, but it has an earthy undertone that's rich and creamy. Insect ice cream is not only delicious but also healthier than traditional ice cream too. It contains approximately five times more protein, plus it's packed with vitamins and minerals. Despite these benefits, the founders of Gourmet Grub anticipated lots of resistance from diners. Who think eating bugs is disgusting? To their surprise, they quickly acquired a fan base of open-minded customers. So much so that they opened up a pop-up restaurant called the Insect Experience, where the main ingredient in every dish is some type of bug. Gourmet Grub isn't the only food company jumping on the bug bandwagon. A bakery in Finland has started baking the world's first insect bread. It's made by grinding crushed crickets into flour. Every loaf contains roughly 70 crickets. Meanwhile, a German company, Bug Foundation, is producing a burger made from buffalo worms. From a nutritional point of view, their burgers are similar to beef burgers, except they contain a lot less fat. Okay, guys, let's talk about insect foods. Our author here is describing the insect foods as the bee's knees. They're the bee's knees.、Um, it actually came into existence in the 1800s,、uh, so it's been around a long time. So, bee's knees, guys. If someone says, "Ooh, you're the bee's knees," or something is the bee's knees, it just means it's really、uh, high quality, excellent. Oh, you're excellent.、Um, here we're describing insect foods as being really, really good quality and maybe even yummy to some people. I have to admit, it's not food that I would really go for.、Um, but if you're really starving and hungry, I'm sure you'd eat just about anything. So let's set the scene. We've got ice cream. It's the perfect dessert to cool you down.
on a hot summer's day, and don't we know it?、Uh, those of us who live here in Taipei or even down south, Kaohsiung is even hotter. But、uh, ice cream is the perfect dessert.、Uh, so they say. I've heard people argue that no, you should never have anything chilled on a hot summer day. You should always drink room temperature water or something like that. But psychologically speaking, if you can have a big bowl of ice cream or shaved ice or something, that will cool you down at least psychologically.、Mm -hmm. So yeah, ice cream is the perfect dessert to cool you down on a hot summer's day, like today probably is. And do you think you could still? Enjoy it though, if you knew it was made from insects. So if somebody gave you a big bowl of ice cream and then you took a couple of bites and you thought, oh, this is pretty tasty, and then they're going to ask you, yes, but、uh, <laughs> we need to tell you right now that there is actually some ground insect in there.、Mm. Would you still like it? Could you still enjoy it if you knew it was made from insects? So here we've got this phrase to be made from, which is、uh, very similar to the phrase be made of.、Mm -hmm. They're almost the same in meaning, but、uh, not exactly. If you're Talking about the thing that you use to make something,、uh, then you would say made from insects. Like、uh, what is it? Pearl milk tea that's made from milk and tapioca balls and tea and stuff like that. It's made from those things. Yeah, but if I heard that there were some insects inside, I. <laughs> I would probably try to spit it out at that point.、Um, I have learned living in other countries and not always、um, not being used to some of the foods that they eat, especially here in Asia. I've learned not to ask, especially if I'm, you know, having dinner with someone who's invited me over. You know, like a tinka. I never ask. Uh, what's in it or how it was made? I just try to enjoy it. It's better that way.、Um, later on, I might find out, but then you know, I don't hurt anyone's feelings.、Um, every area of the planet, people are used to eating different kinds of things, and you just have to、uh, get used to it and maybe be a little bit more adventurous. I'm not very adventurous with food, so this gourmet grub, it's a business down there in South Africa. And they're putting this idea to the test. Would people really like ice cream if they knew it was made from insects?、Uh, we're describing the company as being environmentally conscious. So, if you're environmentally conscious, you care about the environment. You worry about it. You're aware of it. So, conscious just means someone being aware of something.、Um, if you put something to the test, that's kind of a great phrase. It just means you try it.、Hmm. Let's put it to the test. You. Might have a theory.、Um, for example, I think little Johnny will love these peas that I've made for him, but he's never tried them before. But let's put it to the test, which means you actually give that little. Toddler,、uh, a bowl of peas to see if he'll eat them.、Mm -hmm. Or maybe Toyota is coming out with a new car that claims really fast acceleration.、Uh -huh. So maybe some TV show will put that car to the test. They'll see just exactly how fast it can accelerate when you start pushing the. The gas pedal to the floor, but in this particular case, yes, they're putting this idea to the test. They're、mm -hmm. going to see if people would like to have ice cream made from insects. And yes, this is a company called.、Uh, well, the、uh, thing they use is called Ento Milk、mm -hmm. instead of dairy. Ento is、uh, the word that we use when we talk about insects, especially the uh, the uh, scientific term for the study of insects. Entomology.、Mm -hmm. That's the study of insects. So Ento Milk basically means insect. Milk. Milk or bug milk, and they're using this instead of dairy.、Uh, usually, we use dairy products like milk and stuff to make ice cream.、Mm -hmm. It's made by blending the larvae of tropical flies. So insects go through different stages as they develop into the adult、um, bug. Whatever they might be, and larvae kind of looks like worms to me usually. So、uh, they're taking that, they're blending it together, mixing it together, and to add flavor, they've got some familiar natural ingredients like cocoa, raw honey, and organic peanut butter. Those are all things that we're used to eating, and it sounds delicious. Ingredient、uh, here, we've got the plural form. Ingredients are things that usually you put into a, a dish of food. For example, if I make chocolate. Chip cookies. I'm going to have flour and butter and sugar, vanilla, salt, baking soda, 
、uh, chocolate chips, nuts. Those are my ingredients to produce those cookies. Now,、um, if something's organic, Tom, what does that mean? That's popular these days.、Uh, well, you know, that's kind of hard to explain, but basically, it's、uh, derived from living things. Yoji shu wu, organic food, organic peanut butter, as opposed to peanut butter that is artificially made in the laboratory or something like that. Basically, it's made with fresh, a whole ingredients. So yeah, we're saying organic peanut butter. They're not adding chemicals. Yeah, no chemicals, no extra preservatives and stuff like、no. that. So yes, you're getting some really natural stuff there, and it should be pretty good for your body. Okay, let's move on now to the next paragraph and continue talking about gourmet grub. Again, that's a business in South Africa.、Mm -hmm. So many people say gourmet grubs ice cream tastes like dairy. Based ice cream, but it has an earthy undertone that's rich and creamy. So yes, for the most part, it tastes like ice cream, or at least ice cream that is made from dairy products. But it also has this sort of undertone,、uh, an earthy undertone, which means kind of a flavor that's there, but it's not really obvious. You kind of have to, you have to think about it to detect that、uh, aroma there or that taste there. If you don't really notice it, or if you don't really Pay attention to it; you probably won't notice it at all. But、uh, it's an earthy undertone, which means like the earth, I suppose, like dirt, like soil, or something like that, in a good way.、Mm -hmm. uh, I've always I was talking to my dad the other day, and he loves beets. And I said, "Yeah, they taste like dirt to me, Dad. Yeah, I'm not into the beets."、Um, and if you say that it has a taste like dirt, obviously beets. Aren't dirt, but it's got that kind of flavor. Now, if it just had a very light flavor, I wouldn't say, "Oh, they taste like dirt." I would say, "There's a little bit of a, a dirt kind of undertone to them."、Um, I was talking to a friend of mine who describes them the same way. So it's not just me. I know they're healthy. I just can't eat them. My parents would love them, though.、Um, so yeah, it's got this、uh, earthy undertone. It sounds like it's pretty good. It's rich and creamy, which usually Means、uh, it's got a lot of fat in it, which makes anything taste better. So,、uh, insect ice cream is not only delicious but also healthier than traditional ice cream too. So, if you're a health nut, as we call some of these people, like my father, who just is always focused on eating healthy food, whereas I like deep fried food and terrible food.、Um, This would be important to you. You could see that. Wow, it's really healthy. So maybe I should give it a try. This, of course, this sentence has one of our favorite sentence patterns or sentence structures here. Not only, but also. Again, I just want to warn、uh, our, our listeners out there. Sometimes you overuse this pattern. If you're writing one article, never use it more than once, and、uh, try not to use it too much because we see a lot of this pattern. I know it's. It's a it's a good pattern,、um, and you've got the hang of it. I know that, but don't overuse it. Right、mm -hmm. now, I think it's a good time to take a break. We're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Today we're going to look at the second unit. Okay, we're going to talk about using bees to make honey. Is it good or not? Everyone thinks of summer coming. Eating bees. 当然是最好的甜点。可是呢，我们现在要谈的这个文章提的主题呢，却是用昆虫来做成冰淇淋。句子里面就说：“你会想吃吗？”如果你知道这是用昆虫做的，这个地方要注意两个地方。一个呢，就是 “if you knew”， 这个 “knew” 当然它是过去式。你知道的话，这是现在事实相反，所以用过去式来表达哦。假如你知道说，哎，它是用什么做的 ？Be made from。我们知道 ，be made 后面当然就是说用什么做成的，但是它的介系词如果是用 from， 那就表示，哎，这个原料呢做出来的成品，其实你可能呃是。不出原料的，这怎么说呢？像你说用昆虫做成冰淇淋的时候，其实你当然看不到那个虫子的样子了。如果说你是看得到原料的本质的话，那我们就会说 be made。Off， 好，很简单的一个例子就是表示，如果像是房子用木头盖的，你就会说 the house is made of wood。好，那我们这边提的当然
原料转换成冰淇淋的时候，你看不出昆虫的样子，因此用的是 from。好，那当然，这个地方的确在南非呢，已经有一家公司，它其实就在试验这样的想法。它用的，哎，他说叫做 a n t o milk， 这个其实是昆虫奶。怎么说呢？这个昆虫奶当然它也是本质是昆虫，它是混合热带果蝇的幼虫。然后呢，去制造成为这种奶制品，那当然不是真正的牛奶了，来做成冰淇淋。好，我们还要注意文法这边，注意到提到这个昆虫奶 a n t o milk is made by blinding the larvae of tropical flies。说到它是用果蝇的幼虫做的，但是这边为什么是 by？ 当然 by 就表示。方法手段是用什么样的方式去做的？后面的 blending 是依靠这个动作，用这个方式来制造而成。接下来我们看第二段，他就提到说，这个冰淇淋吃起来真的就像乳制品，不过它有一点不同，就是它有那么一点的 earthy undertone， 也就是有一点清淡的。泥土味。不过，重点在下面这句，他就说他吃起来不但美味，而且还比传统的冰淇淋更健康。Not only but also， 这个连接词片语我们常见。当然 ，not only but also， 既然是连接词，它是对等连接词的用法，前后所接的必须是对等的。当你前面用的是 delicious， 后面讲的也是形容词 healthier。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're talking about insect foods, and we're calling them the bees' knees. We're talking about companies that are putting this idea to the test that if people were interested in eating healthy food and trying to help the environment, they might be willing to try some food that was.、Uh, Made from bugs. So we left you in the second paragraph. We talked about how people are saying gourmet grubs ice cream tastes like dairy-based ice cream, but it's got that undertone, kind of earthy undertone to me. Kind of is similar to the dirt taste that I was、uh, talking about when I when I was talking about the beets. But insect ice creams not only delicious but healthier. Tom, why is it so much healthier than just traditional dairy made? It's got all sorts of nutritional ingredients in it. It contains approximately five times more protein. Plus, it's packed with vitamins and minerals, so it's good for you.、Uh, protein, of course, is good for you. Of course, you can't have only protein in your diet. You've got to mix it up with carbohydrates and fiber and stuff like that. But still, a lot of protein is much better. Than a lot of sugar or other things that are bad for you, like salt or whatever. So yeah. yeah, we've got lots of protein in here, and then we've got lots of vitamins and minerals. And、uh, we not only have vitamins and minerals, but it's packed with vitamins、cool. and minerals. So here's the phrase to be packed with something that just means there is a lot of that thing in something else. It's packed with vitamins and minerals, or we could say our vacation was packed with fun. We had a lot of time. We had a lot of fun driving out to California and going to Disneyland. But here, yes, indeed, insects are packed with vitamins and minerals. Well, not only the insects, but also the ice cream. The ice cream that has insects in it. Yeah, it's got a great taste, and it's got lots of protein and lots of vitamins and minerals. Sounds really healthy, doesn't it? Well, despite these benefits, benefits are the good things that the ice cream will give you. The company they're anticipating or expecting to get lots of resistance from diners who think eating bugs is disgusting. That's me. I think bugs are disgusting. If you run into some sort of resistance, someone is giving you the feeling that they don't want to do whatever is being asked, or 
maybe they're hesitant to help you, or maybe they're giving you excuses. They're resisting you. Resist is the verb, and resistance is the noun form.、Um, I think I would definitely、uh, put up some resistance if someone handed me a bowl of bug ice cream. So, indeed, in this particular case, though, yeah, they think. Well, people are gonna be grossed out by this idea of having <laughs>、uh-huh. ice cream with insects in it. So yeah, they're going to have lots of resistance from those diners. Ugh! I'm not gonna eat that. That is disgusting. Who wants to eat insects? But to their surprise, they quickly acquired a fan base of open-minded customers. I know at least with the foodie group, you know these people who like to、uh, think of themselves as foodies, they are willing to try it because they feel like you know they should be open to anything. So if you're open-minded, you are willing to do something new or try something new or listen to an opinion that's different from yours and go hmm. You know, I'll consider it. You're open-minded, so they have a fan base. They already have people who are quite excited about their ice cream, so much so that you know they had a lot of these open-minded customers. That's what we're saying there. That they opened up a pop-up restaurant called the Insect Experience, and the main ingredient in every dish is some type of bug or some kind of bug. A pop-up restaurant is very popular, especially in big cities right now.、Um, it's very expensive to open up a restaurant, you know, a brick-and-mortar restaurant. A pop-up is a restaurant that is set up in a temporary space. It's only temporary. Could be one night. It could be a couple of days. It could be a week. Usually, you see these pop-up restaurants、uh, opened by pretty.、Uh, Experienced chefs, you know, trying out a new idea to see if it'll work. So this is a pop up, and it's called the Insect Experience. And again, every dish had some sort of bug in it. Right, so that's something you might want to consider trying. But、uh, this is a kind of restaurant that is called the Insect Experience. It might be there for a long time. It might be there for a short time. But、uh, when you order something there, you're going to have some kind of bug、mm-hmm. in every dish. <laughs> Now let's go on back to South Africa here and talk about Gourmet Grub. It isn't the only food company jumping on the bug bandwagon. So here we've got the phrase to jump on the bandwagon or be on the bandwagon, which means. Basically, you're part of the mainstream. You're part of、uh, modern culture. You're not weird. You're not、uh, bizarre. So yeah, if you jump on the bandwagon, you basically do what everybody else is doing. And we're using the word "bug" here to describe this type of bandwagon. I guess a bandwagon is like a, a truck that is、uh, pulling some kind of wagon, and there are people on there playing musical instruments. Yeah, we say it because what's happening is some sort of trend. And if you want to be with the trend. Go with the popular people, then get on the bandwagon. Hey, buddy, you got to get on the bandwagon. We're leaving you behind. So, a bakery in Finland has started baking the world's first insect bread. I could probably eat this a little easier. I think it's made by grinding crushed crickets into flour. When you grind something, guys, you take something and you press it until it's in very small pieces. For example, if you go to a supermarket, you can buy. Ground meat,、uh, it could be ground pork, ground beef, things like that. Ground chicken, I found here,、um, and the past tense is ground. That I just said, G R O U N D. To grind is the present tense. I want to grind. I have some meat、um, that I can grind up and use later. So they grind up these crickets. Crickets are really popular in some of this bug food I've seen. I can understand eating crickets. You know, especially deep-fried crickets. Every loaf contains roughly seventy crickets. Ooh, crickets! Of course, are those cute little black bugs that make sounds at night. Sichuan,、uh, I think you call them in Chinese. So you can expect to have lots of crickets in a loaf of that bread. <laughs> And meanwhile, at the、mm. same time, a company in Germany called Bug Foundation is producing a burger, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, or whatever, made from buffalo worms. Okay, that's a kind of worm. I don't think that's a worm that is crawling around the stomach of a buffalo. I think this is a particular species of worm,、mm. and I guess they get all these worms together, they dry them up, they grind it up, and then they make it into a burger. Well, I guess,、uh, yeah, I guess they have ground worms,、mm-hmm. and then they fry it as a burger.
Now it's got some nutrition in it, and this is one of our vocab words from a nutritional point of view. Nutritional just means、um, looking at it in terms of its. It's you know stuff for your body or benefits for your body, vitamins, minerals. What sort of nutritional value do the burgers have? Well, one thing they say is they have a lot less fat. But I like fat; it makes everything taste better. So, from a nutritional point of view, again, these burgers are very similar to the beef burgers, but they won't have as much fat or calories. I'm sure.、Uh, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher one more time, and then we'll be back to say goodbye. 好，我们继续来谈这种昆虫冰淇淋。好，用昆虫做成的冰淇淋，当然它更健康。说起来，因为是用果蝇的幼虫做的，所以丰富的蛋白质。此外，它还有维生素跟矿物质。看到这个片语 ，be packed with， 当然这个 be packed with。就是表示充满了富含什么的内容物。再来，下面这里用到 despite， 他说尽管有这么多的好处，不过呢，这家公司它的创办者他本来还是想大家应该不敢吃吧。好 ，despite 这个字要注意，因为。虽然我们中文翻成“尽管”，可是它是一个介系词，所以呢，用到 despite。记得后面要接的是一个名词，而不是一个子句，千万不要跟 although 混在一起。好，再来下面就说到，不过很令他们这家公司很惊讶的是，竟然有这么多人想吃这一批思想开放的顾客，他们真是非常的多，而且多到他们还开了一家 pop up restaurant， 这叫快闪餐厅。我们先看到这里，回头来看这个片语 ，so much so，so so much so。当然，在用法上就是表示 to such a great extent，to such a great degree， 多到什么样的程度，到他们都要开店了。好，我们来看后面这里提到这家餐厅啊，它叫做 the insect experience。后面的逗点再接着 where， 也要注意一下 where， 当然就相当于。In which， 也就是在这个餐厅里头，在这里你要知道，每一道菜它的主要成分都是昆虫。再来，最后这一段提到了说，其实也不是只有这一家公司，它现在呢用昆虫来做成食物，还有像芬兰也有做了昆虫面包。注意到 ，it's made by grinding。说到了 by， 那就是什么样的方式？用什么样的方法？它其实是把蟋蟀，然后研磨成面粉，然后做成面包的。OK， 我们今天的节目就到这边结束，我们下次见。Thanks for joining us, guys. This is just day one of our food unit. We're going to be talking more about、uh, insect foods, preparing you guys out there to maybe one day accept eating bugs or insects in your food. I think I could live with the crickets, but not the worms. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, and forget the roaches. Never.、Mm, yeah, yeah, or、no、spiders.、Way. Enough of、Ugh. that. We gotta go. We hope you'll join us for our next program for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.